great to be here. Thank you. We're going to talk about no limits, no boundaries. Yeah. Praying dynamic change into your family and finances. What's the passion behind this? Well, you know, people say, they always ask, how long did it take you to write this book? And I say, oh, about 35 years. <laughs> and really, this is right. just out of my heart. It's not just something that I taught as a series. This is really a passion of my life. And it's been a journey mm -hmm. of realizing how to pray effectively. You know, if I'm going to put the time in, I want to see mm -hmm. results. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just be praying off in la-la land. Right. I want to pray and find results that actually compute out into real Absolutely. life. And, you know, I think especially right now, people are feeling a lot of hopelessness. People are feeling a lot of fear and fearful of the future and mm -hmm. what's around the next corner. Right. And they're wondering how to take control back of their lives. Mm -hmm. And there is a way, and it's through faith, mm -hmm. it's through prayer, it's through understanding right. how much God loves us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Valerie, this book is so much more than just about the time you spend on your knees in prayer. It's really about a lifestyle Absolutely. of understanding that God is a good God, and He wants to be involved mm -hmm. in our lives every day, right. in our families, mm -hmm in every area of our life. Mm. And I think so often people look at their lives and they think, does anybody understand what I'm going through? Mm -hmm. Does anybody mm -hmm. care? And you know, Psalms 115, 12 mm -hmm. is like my favorite scripture right now because it says the Lord is mindful of us mm -hmm. and he will bless us both great and small. Yes. He's thinking Absolutely. about us right now. Absolutely. We're on his mind and he sees what we're going through in the mm -hmm. world. He mm -hmm. sees the issues that we have. And not only does he see it, but he has already mapped out Absolutely. a plan for blessing in our lives. Mm -hmm. So what I want to tell people is that God is a good God. Mm -hmm. He cares and he has a plan for every issue Absolutely. that we'll ever face. You know, Valerie, there's eight thousand promises in the word of God. Praise God. Yeah. Eight and you know, thousand. so often we hear about the judgment of God or, you know, just the do's and the don'ts, but there are eight thousand incredible, yeah. wonderful promises of blessing that he wants to get out of this book, mm -hmm. out of the Bible and into our lives. You know, would, would the first step for people watching right now be to just say to yourself right now, I believe this. I believe what she's telling me. They have to believe that God is a good God and yes. wants to bless them. Yeah. But Tiz, what sets this book apart from others is, is this. It says, praying dynamic change into your life, family, and finances. But yeah. we may find a book that says, finding dynamic change or bringing dynamic change. But you said, praying yeah. dynamic change. Yes. That's what set this book apart. Talk to me about prayer. Why is that so important? Well, I think you have to connect the dots of faith. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I do talk in here about the prayer of agreement. You know, it's wonderful when you and I come together or someone that uh, is a prayer partner with you and you agree. The Bible right. says wherever two or three agree mm -hmm. on anything, it shall be done. Right. But there's a higher prayer of agreement, which is us agreeing with God. Right. And when we begin to understand these 8,000 promises that are there in the word, and we begin to agree in our mind, we accept it in our mind, then we begin to speak it out, and then we begin to act on those promises. There is something dynamic that begins to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's a pivotal point where your prayers actually begin to have effect and to begin to get, like I said, out of the pages of the Bible right. and into the reality of our lives. And so it's one thing to say, yeah, I believe in prayer, mm -hmm. but it's another thing to actually pray. Mm -hmm. And so often, you know, our lives are so busy that we know we should, but mm -hmm. in the course of life, we just don't actually get to prayer. Right. And so what I'm t telling people in this book is it's much more than just, okay, I'm going to spend an hour in the morning on my knees. Right. Now that's ideal and it's wonderful, right. but the reality of our lives isn't necessarily that we can do that every right. day. Right. So I try to teach people how to pray on the go, pray in the real yes. time, pray in a life that is very busy for mm -hmm. all of us, mm -hmm. and, and just getting yourself saturated with the promises yeah. of God. Right. You know, I, I tell people that uh, they say that we have 60,000 thoughts every day. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot At of least. thoughts. <laughs> but how often do we just let them spiral negatively out of control? Right. 
or we just kind of react to what comes our way. Mm -hmm. How about taking those thoughts mm -hmm. and causing them to be saturated with the promises of God? Mm -hmm. And when situations come, you don't react out of fear. You react out of knowing what God has said. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite sayings is this, it's, I, I like to tell people, fear comes <clears throat> when you view your future without God's promises. Mm, that's right. But faith is fear that said its prayers. And so we all view the same world, mm -hmm. but how we view the world through the promises of God makes all the difference Absolutely. in the world. Absolutely. Arrest those thoughts, those 60,000 yes. thoughts, and line them up with that, a promise with the word with of God. what the Word of God says. Yes. Yeah. You know, we look at the economy, we look at the things that are going on. Well, we're not going to bury our head in the sand, mm -hmm. but we're going to filter how we respond to that right. through the Word of God. So we say, what does God say about this? Absolutely. But, but it is if we don't really know who God is. In the first section of your book, you talk about communication with God, yes. about intimacy. Yeah. So how can we really know God? Um, or how should we really know God? You talked a little bit about His names. Yeah, you know, and that's the greatest place to start. Mm -hmm. Because I go through really the Lord's Prayer in here. Which, which is, I have to tell you, fantastic thank absolutely you, fantastic thank teaching you. it isn't just inspiring us to pray the lord's prayer with understanding yeah but it is a study yes a deep study of understanding the power of praying of how jesus taught the disciples to pray yes so yes. tell me about that that was one of my favorite sections that's why i had no oh, <laughs> thanks well you know larry and i have been in the ministry for over 30 years and the first 15 years of our of our life in ministry our whole life was really colored by thinking that God was a hard taskmaster. Right. And so everything that we did, everything we preached, the way that we raised our children, mm -hmm. it was very hard lined. And we knew how to pray. Right. We knew how to sacrifice. We knew how to pray for the lost. We knew how to work for God. But we didn't know how to receive right. from God. Yeah. And we didn't know how to enjoy serving God. And so all of a sudden, God began to deal with us mm -hmm. that he was a good God. Now, mind you, we had already pioneered five churches at the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. We'd gone to Australia twice, to, you know, completely started over every time. We knew how to work for God. Yeah. We didn't know how to enjoy yes. God. Yes, oh, that's so And good. all of a sudden, God that's started so dealing good. with our hearts that he was a good yes. God, yeah. a loving God. Yeah. And not only did he care about the world, Mm -hmm. He cared about us. Yes. And we began to pray in a different way. And the first thing in the Lord's Prayer is our Father. Our Father. Yeah. And really going through the names of God and understanding changed our whole lives. We didn't come to God anymore as a beggar. We came as his child. Mm -hmm. We didn't come begging God to do this or that. We simply entered in to who he already right. is. Yeah. He is Jehovah Rapha, mm -hmm. our healer. Yes. He is Jehovah Shalom, our peace. He's Jehovah Shammah, whatever we need him to be, whenever we need him to be it. Absolutely. He's Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Oh, and so beautiful. all of a sudden our whole perspective changed in that we didn't come begging mm -hmm. or hoping. Right. We came understanding this is who he already is right. and just entering into that. Mm -hmm. I love how you said that prayer is not the burden, a burdensome thing. It yeah. is the burden lifter. Yeah. And exactly. that lifting of the burden came with intimacy, with knowing who is this yes. God, yes. who I'm praying for. That, that is wonderfully refreshing and encouraging to see that God, God wants to say, you know, yes. I love all you're doing for me. I love all you want to do this, but it's, it's knowing me that, yeah, that means exactly. that great accomplishments are wonderful for right. the kingdom of God, but knowing God is where the real power yes. lies. And that's Absolutely. what you found. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, we all know that scripture, be still and know that I'm God. Mm -hmm. And I think that every, every day, each of us, before we race into the world, race to our to-do list, race into the life that we all have many, many things going mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. but we need to spend that time just saturating our soul in the presence of Absolutely. God and in the promises of God. Yeah. And just to anchor ourselves in that, yeah. just to let that settle our soul. Uh -huh. And I like to tell people, you know, all through the scripture we read, magnify the Lord, magnify the Lord. Well, what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. What it basically means is instead of magnifying all of our problems, yes. let's magnify 
all of his promises. Absolutely. Instead of telling God how big your problems are, mm -hmm. let's start telling those problems how big our God is. Absolutely. Let's really begin to just Absolutely. focus in That's on right. how incredible he is, mm -hmm. how much he wants to be involved mm -hmm. with our lives, how much we can trust him and depend on him. You know, I think so many times people think, is there anybody I can really trust in my life? That's right. I want to tell people, you can trust God. Yeah. He says and he promises us over and over again that he's alert mm -hmm. and active and watching over his promises Absolutely. to perform them. That's right. That settles my soul. Mm -hmm. That really Me brings too. peace in our lives, mm -hmm. knowing that he's on board. That's He's right. in our corner. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, Tiz, we only have a few more minutes. I know. But... We could <laughs> go on awful? and on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we can't steal their time. But I want you to do something for me. I yeah. want you to just look in your camera, and I want you to encourage. You know, the Bible says, I hear in this interview right now, I hear him saying, come unto me. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Tiz is telling you about a place in prayer, telling you about a communication that's not specific for her alone with God. God didn't just say that you can have it. He wants you to have it. Come unto me. Can you just encourage, yes, encourage absolutely. our absolutely, absolutely. You know, it doesn't matter where you came from or what you're going through right now. God has a plan for your future, and he has a way to get you out of the circumstances of life and into his promises. You know, Psalms 115.12 tells us that we are on his mind right now. He's thinking about you. He cares about you. He loves you. And no matter what situation you're in, God has an answer for you and a way out. Not only that, but a way in to blessing. Absolutely. Today, if you will just simply receive him into, into your heart, let him be the God that he wants to be in your life. Understand that he is a good God who cares about you and loves you and in one moment of time can change every circumstance in your life. Today, just let God be God in your life. Let him be a God of love and joy and peace in your life. Cast every care you have onto him because he cares for you and he loves you. Just let him in today and he will turn your life around. That's God right. bless you today.